On Tuesday, following a week of deadly airstrikes on Gaza that killed at least 212 people, Israel's foreign ministry tweeted out this caption. It is a chapter from the Quran, written in Arabic for an Arabic audience. Alongside it is an image of an Israeli airstrike on a residential tower building in Gaza. So what's the story here? And why are people so furious about it? The Quranic chapter quoted here is called Surat Al-Fil and talks about the people of the elephant, the story of an army that attempted to destroy the Kaaba shrine in Mecca, the holiest site in Islam. In the chapter, Ibrah's army who encroaches onto Mecca on the backs of elephants is destroyed by a barrage of stones coming down from the sky. It's a chapter that most Muslims are familiar with, an allegory about how God protects his sacred house from aggressors. This is the chapter that was tweeted out by Israel's official government account, in Arabic, alongside an image of bombs over Gaza. The implication seems to be that the fire coming down over the people of Gaza, or what Israel describes as legitimate Hamas targets, is similar to the story of Abraha's army, and that Israel's bombing of Gaza is similar to God's wrath being inflicted on his enemies. As you can imagine, this set off a flurry of furious responses, calling it repulsive and sacrilegious. We reached out to Israel's government for comment, which they declined to do. The tweet has since been deleted. But there's something interesting to note here. This message was only sent out to an Arabic-speaking audience. It's an image that projects strength, and what some have interpreted as mockery. By contrast, this is what Israel's government was tweeting to its English-speaking audience. It's a picture of several Hamas rockets being intercepted above Tel Aviv, with the caption, one picture, a thousand words. We can see here two different messages, one of strength and one of weakness. This isn't just reserved to the foreign ministry account. Israel's army is also very active on Instagram, where they have multiple accounts in different languages. The comparison of their IG stories also presents an interesting contrast. Here's what their Hebrew language account has been publishing over the last few days. And here's what their English account looked like. One account is showing the IDF carrying out multiple airstrikes in Gaza. It is an image of strength to a domestic Hebrew-speaking audience. The other account shows Israelis running from Hamas rockets. It is an image of weakness intended for an international audience. We can see a carefully curated government campaign to show a strong Israel to its citizens and to Palestinians while showing a vulnerable Israel to the rest of the world. Similarly, if we look at what Israel names its military operations, we see a similar pattern. Its current military operation in Gaza is called Guardian of the Walls, which has so far killed 212 Palestinians. In 2014, its invasion of Gaza was called Operation Protective Edge, and killed over 2,200 Palestinians. However, its Hebrew name translated to Operation Strong Cliff. In 2012, it was called Operation Pillar of Defense in English and killed 105 Palestinians. In Hebrew, it was called Pillar of Cloud. We can see this pattern in the messages of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In a press conference on the 15th of May, this was his statement in Hebrew. <laughs> At the same press conference, this is what he says in English. This past week, millions of Israelis were forced into bomb shelters as missiles rained down on our cities. One message conveys strength. One message conveys vulnerability. Each message has a different audience and each message has a different story that Israel wants that audience to believe about what's happening in Gaza right now. 